Hi again, and thanks for tuning in. This is going to be lesson 3.1, day 2. Yesterday you talked about the vocabulary terms. Today we're actually going to apply some of those vocabulary terms and learn how to simplify expressions using like terms. So just make sure your notes are labeled, and you're going to be writing eight things down in your notes today, so make sure you look for those little green circles. Here we go. So reviewing what are like terms. So remember, like terms have to have the same exponent and same variable. So like 3x and negative 9x, or 2abc and 3abc. They both have the same variables. You can also have like 5x to the third and 7x to the third. So all of those are like terms because they have the exact same variable and the exact same so again, those are just some examples of like terms. Let's go ahead and look to see how we can actually simplify some algebraic expressions using like terms. Um, the first thing we want to make sure, though, is we understand what simplest form is. Simplest form is when an algebraic expression has no like terms and no parentheses. So just making sure that you combine like terms, that's essentially what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and just pause real quick to write what simplest form is. And then once you're done, click play, since we're moving on in three, two, one. So this one you're just going to watch, and this is actually an example I used from yesterday. Yesterday you just picked out the variables, counted the terms, what were the constants, um, what were the coefficients. So today you're just going to watch. This is how you would simplify the expression. You would essentially list your like terms. I'm just going to write LT for like terms. So I have 9x and negative x. And then I have negative 2 and positive 7. What you're essentially going to do is be putting these together. So how you do that is you're just going to add them. 9x plus negative x is going to give you 8x. Okay, because remember, not that negative x, you can kind of pretend like it's negative 1x. So 9 plus negative 1 is 8, and you just keep the x. And then two, negative 2 plus 7 is 5. So I've just combined those terms, and now I can put it back together in an expression. I'm going to write 8x plus 5. You could write 5 plus 8x, but the um, preferred, the preferred um, I guess, answer would be the first one, just because you always want to list your variables first. Um, and then go from there. Okay, so the next one you are going to try. Again, this is an example from yesterday, so just go ahead and try this um, the best you can. You're just going to simplify the expression using the like terms. I would suggest maybe writing the like terms first and then combining them. Go ahead and pause, try it by yourself, and then click play to see if you get the answer right. All right, here we go. So, the like terms z squared and negative 3z squared, 5z, and z. If you need to, I would go ahead and write a 1 in front of the z's, because that just means 1. And now let's go ahead and combine them. 1z squared plus negative 3z squared is going to be negative 2z squared, and 5z plus 1z will be 6z. So your answer for number 2 will be negative 2z squared plus 6z. Or you could write 6z minus 2z squared. Notice when I put minus, that actually still means that it's a negative 2. Or you could even write 6z plus negative 2z squared. So there's a lot of different methods that you could use with that. Um, again, preferred method would probably be this first one. I did write the variables first, um, but the ones that have, have the most exponents can be written first as well. How'd you do on this one? We are going to try a lot more, so don't worry if, you're, if you need a little bit more time to catch on. Go ahead and pause the video. You're going to try to do this one again. List your like terms, combine them, and then write your final answer. All right, like terms are going to be y. I'm actually going to write one y and negative 3 halves y. 10 is just a like term by itself, so he'll be by himself. I really can't combine anything with him, so he's actually going to stay the same. But what I do need to figure out is this 1y and 3, negative 3 halves y. 
I know that negative 3 halves y is actually equal to negative 1 and 1 half y. So I'm essentially going to be doing 1y plus negative 1 and 1 half y. Those are different signs, so I'm going to subtract them and then keep this on a larger value. I'm going to have negative 1 half y as my answer. Okay, So I have negative 1 half y and a positive 10. So to put those two together, negative 1 half y plus 10. Okay, If you wrote um, 10 plus negative 1 half y, that's also the same thing, or 10 minus 1 half y. That is also the same thing because you still kept the 1 half y negative and you still kept the 10 positive. Here's your preferred answer though. Again, here's another one for you to try. Go ahead and pause it. Take the time to try it. Click play when you are done. All right, here are the like terms. I have 2r squared and negative r squared. I have 7r and then negative 9. So I took care of my 2r squared, r squared, a 7r, and a negative 9. Now I'm going to combine what my like terms are. There's really only thing I can com one thing I can combine here. That's 2r squared and negative r squared, or you can say negative 1. So 2 plus negative 1r squared is just 1r squared. 7r is just going to be 7r, and negative 9 will be negative 9. So putting those all together, 1r squared plus 7r minus 9. That would be your final answer for number 4. So just make sure that you have the correct um, ones written. If you wrote it in a separate order, just make sure the 1r squared is positive, the 7r is positive, and the 9 is negative. Here's another one. Pause it. Click play when you're ready to check after you've simplified the expression. Like terms are going to be 7 and negative 5. 4p and p, and then 2q. 7 and negative 5 make 2. 4p and 1p make 5p. And 2q is just going to be equal to 2q. You do want to try to put these in order, so the best way you could write this would be 5p plus 2q plus 2. If you write it a different order, just make sure you at least have a positive 5p, a positive 2q, and a positive 2 somewhere in that expression. Number six, again, you're going to try it. These are just a lot of trying questions, just so you can get used to combining like terms. So go ahead and pause and try. Like terms are going to be 14 and positive 8 and negative 3z and 1z. Okay, 14 and 8 would give me 22. Negative 3z plus 1z is negative 2z. So my answer, you can write either negative 2z plus 22, or you could write 22 minus 2z, or 22 plus negative 2z. Either one of these at the bottom are the same thing because it still shows me 22 is positive and 2z is negative. Here's your ideal answer, though. Last few, we got one more after this one. Pause it, try it, check it once you're done. Like terms, I have just two like terms here, 2.5x and 4.3x, and then a negative 5 by itself. 2.5 plus 4.3 is going to be 6.8x, and then negative 5 will just stay the same. So final answer, 6.8x minus 5, or you can say 6.8x plus negative 5. Either one of those will work. The last one, go ahead and pause one more time, try it, and then click play to check. Like terms, they're going to be 5x and 7x, negative 8, and then negative 2x squared. Remember, 2x squared is not going to be the like term with 5x and 7x because this 2x squared has an exponent not the same as the 5x and the 7x. 5x plus 7x is 12x, negative 8 stays negative 8, and negative 2x squared stays negative 2x squared. Putting it in order ideally would look like this, 
negative 2x squared, start with the highest exponent first, plus positive 12x minus 8, okay? Or negative 2x squared plus 12x plus negative 8. Those would work as well. Make sure in your final answer you have a negative 2x squared, a positive 12x, and a negative 8. So that's going to conclude our video today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Make sure you have those eight questions tried, and go ahead and check the board to see what we're up to next.